Released just before Thanksgiving in 1992, this $28 million animated musical fantasy was the most successful of the year, eventually grossing over half a billion at the worldwide box office. Ron Clements and John Musker adapt the ancient Arab folktale for the big screen, with a cast of familiar voices, led by Scott Wegner of Full House fame. The 90-minute story follows Wegner as the title character, a poor street urchin who uncovers a magical genie after falling in love with a beautiful princess. He's motivated early by a passing prince who reminds him, you were born a street rat and you'll die a street rat. Come on, let's get out of here. Gotta keep one jump ahead of the bread line, one swing ahead of the sword. I steal only what I can't afford. That's everything. One jump ahead of the law, man. That's all, and that's no joke. These guys don't appreciate I'm pro. Riff raff, straight rat, scoundrel, take that. Just a little snack, guys. Riff it open, take it back. I can take a hint, gotta face the facts. You're my only friend, Abu. As one of the all-time great animated characters in cinema history, Robin Williams is perfectly cast as the bright blue genie, hilariously rattling off a string of jokes, sight gags, anachronistic impersonations, and even singing a song or two. In fact, the famous comic improvised so much, the movie recorded over 15 hours of material for his role, and prevented the script from being eligible for a Best Adapted Screenplay nomination. It may seem commonplace today, but 20 years ago, having a major movie star voice an animated character was a relatively new concept, but thankfully it paid off. Williams' manic performance alone makes this worth seeing. Particularly fantastic is his introductory song and dance number, Friend Like Me, which flies by with some extremely unique and inventive animation, backed by Alan Menken's wonderful music. Jonathan Freeman, Linda Larkin, and the annoyingly foul-mouthed Gilbert Godfrey portray the rest of the colorful, if stereotypical, cast. Special mention needs to be made for Frank Welker, though, an extremely talented but generally unknown voiceover artist who has nearly 1,000 credits to his name, mostly all specializing in animal sounds and other unique vocal effects. Here, he provides personalities and voices for Abu the Monkey and Raja the Tiger, among other characters. His career has been so prolific that the combined gross of all his projects is second all time behind only Samuel L. Jackson. Back to the film though. At its heart, it's a fun adventure set in an exotic location with likable characters, a simplistic romance plot, and plenty of goofy hijinks. As expected, Disney's trademark animation style is vibrant and beautifully rendered, especially in the film's Oscar-winning sequence for A Whole New World. As has been my faux criticism of all children's films, the quickly paced story is a touch heavy-handed and rushed at times, but the characters and music provide a lovely experience that will remind kids it's important to be true to yourself and not get wrapped up in materialistic endeavors. Eventually spawning two sequels, a TV series, toys, video games, merchandise, and a Broadway play, this G-rated movie is a timeless classic people of all ages can enjoy again and again. Aladdin. Sparkling fable with hilarious moments. Now let's read some of your reviews. Aladdin on the right matic a double nine. You applauded the musical numbers and of course Robin Williams as the genie. You thought the movie was awesome. Since it's so hard to separate this picture from my childhood, I simply won't. I loved it then and I still do today. I think it's awesome as well. 